Pro. Now, I'm going kind of to the low end of the market here, but what fascinated me about this watch is how inexpensive it is. But this is one of the best selling smartwatches both on Amazon and on AliExpress, so I thought I'd check it out and see what the deal is. This is just going to be an out of the box uh, to show you what comes in this thing. And I think why it is so popular is because it's the cheapest thing that kind of looks like an iWatch. It looks like the Apple Watch. This plastic is really hard to get off. So it's got that very familiar look to it with the one button on the side here and it looks like another button on the bottom. Let me press and hold that, see if it has any juice out of the box. Um, nothing on the top one, press the bottom one. I don't think it has any battery life. Oh, there it is, it's coming on. So you get a charging cradle here. So let's take a look at this watch. First of all, when I press this button and the screen comes on, you'll notice it's very laggy. Press, and then it comes on. So it's very unresponsive, I would say, or not terribly responsive. Uh, you can swivel the crown here now and scroll through the various watch faces, okay? Um, if you look at the pixels here, it's pixelated already, so the resolution is not good. I think it's 240 by 240. We can scroll up. This will turn on your Bluetooth, your flashlight mode. Battery's almost dead. I've been wearing it uh, four days now, so battery life is not great. Um, and that said, I haven't had the Bluetooth turned on all that much. So you can change your screens by scrolling, um, which is odd just from the watch face. You don't have to press and hold the face, you just swipe. Okay, if I press this twice, it'll get me into the menu mode. Uh, it says it cannot uh, connect without the phone. I've had this problem. Um, I'm connected to my phone. Okay, 804-608 West Side Boat Shop. I press the uh, I press this call button even though I'm connected to my phone this doesn't work for me so the Bluetooth calling has not worked whatsoever contacts call log, log messages again I've not been able to get my SMS messages um, through the watch when connected with Bluetooth to my phone it just doesn't work uh, pedometer sleep tracking it does an okay job with uh, sleep tracking here sedentary reminder it's got a Bluetooth trigger f to take a picture Bluetooth music it'll control the music on your phone when tethered to Bluetooth again I haven't been able to connect to test it even though my phone says it's connected to the watch you can get into your settings and uh, you can set screen times and brightness and all that and you can go into the menu type and change that Okay, so if I swipe up, I can go into the styles here. If I go to the graphic style and now double tap, it gets me into this familiar uh, menu system. And you can scroll, zoom in and zoom out by using the crown. And you can toggle around. I like the list view because it's easy to understand. This only has the green diode, two buttons. Again, it's supposed to be Bluetooth calling with speakerphone and built-in microphone. I've not been able to get that to work whatsoever. Let's dive into the app, and it's something called HireFine, and that's H-Y-R-F-I-N-E. It's a very basic app. It gives you your heart rate, and you can set it up to uh, either record on demand or take it every so often. Blood oxygen saturation. This is fairly credible. Now it's telling me the battery is too low, but let's see if it'll take a measurement here and it should and I'll compare that immediately with a pulse oximeter there you go it says 98 percent let me throw on the pulse oximeter right away and the first number you see here will be my blood oxygen saturation it should take just a few seconds 99 so very close on the the pulse oximetry or the blood oxygen saturation here's your sleep it gives you your total sleep duration. It gives you your rapid eye movement time, deep sleep versus light sleep. It gives you a little pie chart. That's it. No further in-depth analysis. Uh, it will give you your exercise. I've not been able to get that to work. And it does your blood pressure. I've taken several readings, but it's it, it just it seems too low. So I don't think it's very credible at all. So again, I paid $9.82 for this on AliExpress.
Would I recommend this watch for $10? Absolutely not. I would say take that $10 and save it up for a better watch. Um, but if it, well, yet another thing here is I can't figure out how to get it into 12 hour time from 24 hour time, so that does not seem possible. But if you're looking for an Apple Watch clone that does a few things, okay, it does a uh, heart rate, it will track your sleep, it'll do blood oxygen saturation fairly reasonably, um, and you want something that just looks like an Apple Watch for 10 bucks, this might be for you. So check it out, and uh, I'll be here with my next review very, very soon. When you want an extraordinary racing kayak made in the finest American tradition, or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history, you want a West Side Boat Shop Kayak, now available from DaveTheKayaker.com. Westside Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.